Welcome back to SciRusher TV. Today, we're gonna walk through the steps on how to assemble your brand new XF900. The first step is gonna be getting the bike out of the box and removing all of the packing material. All the packing material can be stored inside the box and recycled according to local rules and regulations. Now that your bike is ready to be assembled, let's go ahead and check out what comes inside the box. A 13 and 15 millimeter wrench, an assembly multi-tool, the quick release skewer, two pedals, the battery charger, the lockable removable battery pack, a complimentary bike pump, and the front fender. The first step in assembling your bike is gonna be rotating the headset 180 degrees. Loosen both of the headset bolts. And turn the headset towards the front, lining it up with the front forks and the frame. After it's been rotated, make sure to tighten those screws back up. Next, we're gonna remove the faceplate on the headset. Once that's off, we're gonna install the handlebars using the crosshair as a guide. When tightening the bolts, make sure to utilize an X pattern. That'll maintain a consistent pressure on all points on the handlebars. Double check that the handlebars are secure. Next, let's remove the dropout protection. Next, let's remove the brake caliper insert. Next, we're gonna install the quick release on the front wheel. Remove the nut and one of the small springs. Install the quick release skewer through the tire, tightening up that bolt on the other side. But don't tighten it down all the way as we're gonna need some room when we install the front tire. Line up the tire with the front forks, making sure to align the disc brake with the brake calipers and the dropouts with the quick release skewer. Once it's been seated correctly, tighten up the bolt on the opposite side. It may take a few tries to get that pressure just right. Next, we'll install the front fender. Remove the pre-installed bolts on the front shocks. And remove the pre-installed bolt on the top of the shocks. Install the front fender in the light and place the bolt back through both of those, tightening it up on the opposite side. Next, we're gonna reinstall the two bolts that hold up the front fender support arms. First, let's remove the protective tubing from the rear rack support arm. Now that that's out of the way, let's install the rear rack support arm. Now let's do the pedals. As we mentioned, one pedal is for the left side and one pedal is for the right side. They're both labeled. And when you put the pedal in, you are gonna turn it towards the front wheel. The right one on the right side and the left one on the left side. You can start by hand tightening it and finishing off with the included 15 millimeter wrench. To install the battery, line up the grooves on the back of the battery with the battery mount. Sliding the battery down till it is fully seated, then using the key to lock it to the frame. Now let's talk about the controls of the bike. To turn the bike on, simply hold down the middle button. You can use the middle button to cycle through different information that the screen can show you.
you can use the up button to raise levels of pedal assist and the down button to lower levels of pedal assist. To turn on the lights, hit the light button located just above the horn. And once you're ready to wrap up your adventure, press and hold that middle button to turn your bike off. And now you should be ready to roll on your brand new XF900. From all of us at Cy Rusher, we hope you have an amazing day.